we're in the DJ CAD make workshop. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty quiet in here today. This is actually during summer vacation. So we're uh, going to do our laser cutting today and we're going to use this machine. This is uh, an ILS3 NM cutter. Uh, it's a fairly, fairly new machine. Um, got the PC ready to, to open the file and I brought my file down here on USB stick and you may be able to actually access your files straight through the network but uh, advisable to bring it down on USB in case. Okay, I've also bought myself a roll of masking tape to use. Uh, we've got a bit of background noise in here. The, uh, the extract system is on at the moment, um, so hopefully that's not going to drown out the, uh, the speech. It shouldn't do. Okay, so I'm now going to mount the camera on the, the tripod and we'll uh, capture what happens on screen as the, the first part of the process. So firstly we're going to open the, uh, the file from the USB drive. Browse to the USB, removable drive, laser cutting, and we've done the, the first part of the process which was doing your drawing and then taking the drawing into the template. So we're opening the drawing that's already in the template. If you arrive here in the Make Workshop and you haven't put your drawing into the template, then you must do that here. But it's exactly the same process as you've seen on the first part of the video. Okay, so we're opening the file as it is in the template. Okay, so the, uh, I'm just going to move the, the command prompt down a wee bit, give myself a bit more space. Okay, I've got the screen squashed a fair bit because I want to keep the clarity as high on the, the video as possible. So, what we do now is basically go straight to plot and then we can assign different power levels to the various colors we've got on screen. Okay, so remember the, 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 the kind of logic that we've got here. We want the, the inside shapes cut first and before those we want any detail work done. So the, the scoring lines that we've got in here in black and red, they're going to be done before any cutting is done at all while the, the model is complete on its sheet. We then free up the main shapes at the end. Okay, so resist going to the page setup. You shouldn't need to go to the page setup. That's already done. If you've got the right template and you're, on, you're using the right cutter, there's no need to go to the page setup. Okay, what we do is right click the layout and go to plot or type plot in the command prompt and press enter. Okay, so having a wee look through the network just to make sure it can find the machine. Okay, so this is this is the stuff we couldn't do outside of the, the workshop. Okay, so we've got the, the correct plotter, the ILS3 NM, we then go to properties. Okay, so we'll take this bit a bit slower got properties and then custom properties and this gives you access to the, the the driver that comes with the the machine okay so you haven't got the machine so it's pointless you having the driver so it, this bit has to be done in the the make workshop okay so the first thing we need we've got here is the four tabs you only need to check the first two page is the the, the cutter size, the bed size, don't adjust that, and the power scale is a, is a device for controlling the overall output of the machine. So I wouldn't mess with that. This is useful if you are doing graphics. You can tone the machine down greatly. Okay, so we must check laser and job because it remembers what the last person did. It doesn't default to any standard settings. So we deal with the laser tab first. And you only need to consider the first two columns. Ignore any other columns thereafter. Just have a quick glance at the third one and make sure they're all still set at 1000. If anybody's adjusted these, put them back to 1000. Okay, so we, what we've got to do is just work with the colors that we're using. So we can ignore 
four of these colors straight away. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the more powerful ones, which would be the cutting. Okay, so we've got blue for cuts, and we've got we've got blue, and we've got green. So that's our two cutting colors. These are the shapes that are smaller and more detailed, and these are the larger outside shapes of the object. Okay, doesn't matter. You know, the order is determined by the machine. Okay, that's out of your control. Okay, but what the the settings for these two, they need to be the same. They're they're both cutting completely through the material, so the power level and the speed will need to be similar. Okay, as you can see at the moment, green has a power of 90, and blue has a power of 50. Okay, and they've both got they've got different speeds as well. We've got a speed of 10 for green and a speed of 100 for blue. So all we need to do is put in the figures we want. So I'm going to go for uh, a power of 40, which should be sufficient for this ILS3 laser because it's quite a powerful one. And the speed here, I'm going to, I'm going to err on the safe side and go to 25, just to make sure I get through the material. OK. You then don't press enter because that will affect the whole table. It will put these values onto every color, which would be a bit annoying. Okay, click the word setup, and it just changes the two that we wanted. Okay, then we've got a, a deeply scored line, so we want the roof to bend. So we want a fairly deep score here. This is going to be a bit tricky because I haven't done a test on the power level for this. So. I'm going to do a weaker power level than 50, I'll maybe go with something like 20, and I'm going to do a speed of 25. Okay. A lot of this is trial and error, remembering the settings that you used last time, asking about, finding what other people did with their work. Okay, so that's black done, and then I've got some more detailed engraving, or we'll call it scoring really. Uh, I don't want this to go through the material at all, I don't want a risk of that, so I want to make this fairly weak. So I'm just going to do a power level of 10 and a speed of 50. So that's really quite weak. Okay, in comparison to the, to the one above, you can see we've halved the power, but it's, it's halved the speed as well. So that's four times weaker in total. Okay, so a lot of the, a lot of the, the kind of power can be determined through the speed you move the, the cutting head. It's not just all about power, it's power at low speed gives you the maximum power for the machine. Okay, so we can ignore yellow, magenta, cyan and orange because we're not using them. We then must check the job tab. Okay, there's nothing else on here to change, so go to the job tab. Okay, and if it's, a, if it's a fairly standard cutting job, then keep your resolution up high, so we don't want to weaken the machine in any way, and we've got to make sure that there's ticks for the colours we're using. Okay? There's no tick here at all for cuts, so we activate cutting generally, and then we've got to make sure there's a tick in black, red, green, and blue. So that's the colors we're using. Okay, I'm not doing any engraving. I'm not doing any any kind of image work. There's no text, there's no polylines with width, there is no uh, solid fill hatch patterns. So there's nothing in this drawing to engrave. Okay? Don't get cutting, sorry, don't get scoring and engraving mixed up. The score is just a very weak cut. Engraving is when the machine goes into a kind of a, a, a printer mode and it's burning from in a side-to-side -side motion. It's no use for cutting things out. Okay, so that's the, uh, the file ready to go. So I'm not going to hit OK yet because the machine isn't switched on and it's not loaded. So we'll, uh, we'll pause the video just now and set the uh, material up on the machine ready to receive the file.